Our simple interest rate formula is our interest amount is equal to principal multiplied by simple interest rate multiplied by time. Therefore, we can draw this formula as a box. So here we have our interest amount is equal to our principal multiplied by simple interest rate multiplied by time. And this will be our first formula. If you look at this formula, how many variables do we have? We have four variables, interest amount, principal, simple interest rate, and time. Therefore, we can rearrange this formula into four different formulas. So let's rearrange this formula together. What if we'd like to get the principal? Therefore, our principal will be equivalent to our interest amount divided by simple interest rate multiplied by time. And this will be our second formula. What if we'd like to calculate our simple interest rate, which is our little r? Therefore, our simple interest rate is equivalent to our interest amount divided by principal multiplied by time. And this will be our third formula. What if we'd like to calculate time? Therefore, our time is equivalent to interest amount divided by principal multiplied by simple interest rate. And this will be our fourth formula. Let's get some examples about each formula. Linda deposits $10,000 in an account that earns 8% interest per annum. Calculate the interest payment on a three-year simple interest deposit. So let's check the variables we have in this question. So we have principal equal to $10,000. We have simple interest rate equal 8% per annum and we have the time is equal to three years. We need to calculate our simple interest amount, which is capital I. Remember that interest rate and time must have the same time unit. Therefore, interest rate is per annum and time is per years. Therefore, they match, they have the same time unit. So we can use our formula directly without making any adjustment. So we know that our interest amount formula is equal to principal multiplied by simple interest rate multiplied by time. Therefore, our interest amount is equal to 10,000 times 8% times 3. This will give us an interest amount of $2,400. Another question is, George is going to pay an interest amount of $3,600 on a six year loan. Calculate the loan amount with an 4% simple interest rate. So let's get the variables we have here in this example. So we have an interest amount of $3,600. We have time equals six years and we have here simple interest rate of 4% per annum. So usually if we didn't say an annual interest rate, usually the default is annual. So if you didn't find the word annual in any case study, the default is annual. If we'd like to give you any other frequency, such as quarterly or monthly or weekly, we will mention it. Therefore, here we need to calculate our principle. But remember, our simple interest rate and our time must have the same time unit. Therefore, what will be the formula for our principle? We know that the principle is equal to interest amount divided by simple interest rate times time. I know that time is in years and simple interest rate is per annum every year. Therefore, they match, they have the same time unit. So we can substitute directly in our formula without making any adjustment. So our principal is equal to 3,600 divided by simple interest rate of 4% multiplied by time of six years. This will give us a principal of $15,000. Let's move on to another example. John has been promised $720 of interest after nine months of investing $8,000 with Commonwealth Bank. What rate of simple interest is John earning per annum? So let's get the variables we have in this example. So we have interest amount equal to $720. We have time is equal to nine months we have a principal equivalent to $8,000, then we need to calculate our simple interest rate. We know that usually our 
interest rate is expressed as annual rate. And we have a simple rule that time and interest must have the same time unit. So if interest rate is annual, but time here is in months, what do we need to do? We need to change the time to match the interest, which means if the time is in months, we need to convert it into years. How many months do we have per year? 12. Therefore, I need to divide the nine months per 12. So it's equal to nine divided by 12 is equivalent to 0.75 years. So I know that the time we have here is 0.75 years. So what will be the formula of simple interest rate? Our simple interest rate is equivalent to interest amount divided by principal multiplied by time. So our simple interest rate is equivalent to 720 divided by 8,000 multiplied by 9 over 12, which is our time in years. This will give us a simple interest rate equivalent to 12% per annum. Why? Because now interest and time have the same time unit. Let's move to another example. Thomas has a savings of $12,000 at St. George Bank. The bank provides a simple interest rate of 10% per annum. How long in month must Thomas invest for in order to earn $3,000 of simple interest? So anytime you have an example or a case study, the first thing is get the variable that was mentioned in your case study. So here we have a principle of $12,000. We have simple interest rate of 10% per annum. We have an interest amount of $3,000 and we need to calculate the time. Remember, our interest and time must have the same time unit. And since our interest rate is annual, therefore we know that when we use our formula, we will get time as years. So what will be our time formula? Our time is equivalent to interest amount divided by principal multiplied by simple interest. So it's equal to interest amount of 3,000 divided by principal of 12,000 multiplied by 10%. This will give us time equal to 2.5 years. Why? Because the interest rate is annual and we must have the same time unit between interest rate and time. But in the question, he said that how long in months? So we need to convert time into months. So how many months do we have per year? 12. Therefore, I would say that our time expressed as months is equal to 2.5 years multiplied by 12 which will give us 30 months.